Hi guys, welcome to our channel Let's Decode. In this video we will explain you how we created this game using MATLAB. Yes, you heard that right. We created this in MATLAB only. Before going into code, once check how this works. On pressing space bar or arrow keys game starts. Controls are right, left arrows to move the ship. Using up arrow or space bar we shoot the target. Score increases if we shoot a monster. If monsters reach bottom, then game is over. Then we display the present score and best score. To start the game again we press the space bar. Let's decode it. These are the variables we use in this game. Use this restart function to initialize the variables. In this start function we have these variables. This bulanit and mononit variables are the initial position values of the bullets and monster. This space init variable is the initial positions of the spaceship. Then we load this a vds.mat file. Once clear the workspace. Now we can see, this is the data present. We have best score, bullet, monster and spaceship data in it. This is the initial position of the spaceship. Generating random positions for the monsters. These are some more variables initialized to zero. Then we update the figure using this draw now function. After the function, we have the dimensions of the game window. We again load the data file. These lines help us to play the background sounds. Now this code represents the main window properties. And these are child figure for the main window having monsters, spaceship and bullets. This is the text to show game over. Initially it is not visible. This represents the press space text. These score info back and forth shows the score. This score info HDL represent the final score and best score. All of them are not visible at start, we on them accordingly. Here we read the images. These lines set the data to the axes. Again we load the mat file and the variable's initialization. This loop run forever until there is an interrupt. If any key is pressed, then we start the game. We turn off the game over and score HDLS. Again we have a loop which is true. Let's see when it will terminate. If the window is closed, then the run loop variable becomes false, then we clear and close the window. Then we continuously play the background music. Here we check the directions. First let's see how directions are made. From this key press function, we get the directions. If any key is pressed, then it will get stores in this variable. If the key is up arrow, direction is zero, we fire the bullet. If the key pressed is right arrow, then we take the direction as two. We can observe the difference for moving key and firing key here. New start game variable is common for all, as game starts if we press any key. We also use space key to start firing as right arrow key. Similarly, we use the left arrow to change the direction. When any other key is pressed, we take no directions, no bullets will be fired, but we start the game. Now based on the direction we move the spaceship. This dir is trigger variable to move the spaceship. It changes based on the direction. Now based on the direction we change the position of spaceship. If fire is 1, then we increase the number of bullets and create new bullet HDL. Play the firing sound. From this, we move the bullets. These help to move the monsters in different directions. Then we check if bullet meets the monster. If it touches then we put the monster back into its initial position. We also play the collision sound. 
If monster reaches down, then we make the game over text visible. We print the present and best scores. If the present score is higher than the best score, we change the best score. If not, we update all the positions. Then we update the plots. Let's play the game again. Hope you like our videos. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. We will bring more videos like this.